With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So here we have a question from the chapter current electricity. Find the equivalent resistance of the network shown in the figure between the points A and B. So what we'll do? We'll simplify this circuit into an easier circuit. So what I'll take? Let us take this point to be C and this point to be D. So if I build an equivalent circuit i'll take this as my point a this is my point b let us say this is my point c and this is my point d so what we have our first resistor is between a and d and its value is kr so i'll connect a resistor between a and d and it will be equal to kr the next resistance is between a and c and that is r by k so this is our second resistance and the value is r by k similarly this was kr our next resistor is between c and d and its value is r so it will become r here and the next resistor is between d and b that is k square r so d and b has a resistor of k square r and our final resistor is between c and b and its value is r again so this will become r so if i have a look at this simplified circuit the first thing that comes to my mind is that if you have a look at the ratios it comes out to be a balanced Wheatstone bridge so basically what is the condition the ratio of this two resistance will be equal to the ratio of this two for it to be a balance so the ratio of these two resistances is nothing but 1 by k and similarly the ratio of these two resistance what comes out to be again 1 by k so this is a balanced Wheatstone bridge so no current is going to pass through this resistance that is the middle one so this resistance can be put out of the circuit as it will be make no difference so the net r ab will be nothing but r by k and r in series and this kr and k square r will be series and both of these will be parallel so it will become the first two in series in parallel with the second two in series that is kr plus k square r so if i simplify what i have is R A B equals to R A B equals to these two in series will make what it will become k plus one multiplied by R divided by k and these two in parallel with this will become k plus one multiplied by k R so if I simplify what I have is R A B will be their multiplication divided by their division so if you multiply it becomes k and k will cancel out it will become k plus 1 whole square multiplied by r divided by their summation what will be their summation if we add both of this this will become k plus 1 r plus k square r into k plus 1 and this k in the denominator will go up so after simplifying what it becomes it becomes k r multiplied by k plus 1 divided by k square plus 1 so this is the value of the net resistance between the points a and b thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today